White flag is up. They touch at 130 miles per hour. Jeff Gordon, no rookie anymore. Stays out in front. Brett Bodine in second. Earnhardt doing a masterful job of picking that car up in control. Remember, they're floating like feathers at 190 miles an hour around this racetrack. But Ernie, uh, again, Dale Earnhardt has to be wondering if he made his move a little bit too early. Back Here he comes back one more time. Moves to the inside. Look down there for Red Bull Dive. Said, no, that's my spot. Oh, Earnhardt is very loose. Goes high on the racetrack. He gathers it back in. That cost him no chance to catch up with them now as they come for the checkered play. Down the stretch for the final time. Jeff Gordon in front. Brett Bodine's going to make a shot. Short. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon in the Rick Hendrick. Chevrolet has defeated Ernie Irvin. Has defeated Mark Martin. And Earnhardt. Coming down one lap to go as they come to the line. is high. Marlin is low. Mass drops down to the bottom. And for position, Ernie Irvin holds off Brett Bodine. And a crash in turn four. Chuck Bound. Put Chuck Bound in the fence. White flag is out. One lap to go. Great run by Jeff Gordon. Uh, you know, it looks like maybe if this event would happen to be longer, Jeff has gotten his car working better as the day has gone on also. Down to the final lap. Ernie Urban 
Dane up in front in the final moments of this race with some brilliant pit stops is coming down to win the Pontiac Excitement 400. In second spot is Rusty Wallace. Jeff Gordon will be across the third. Earnhardt the fourth. Kyle is in fifth. Mark Martin gets that six, and Rick Mass with a great day finishes in seventh. But Ernie Irvin earns his tenth Winston Cup victory at Richmond, Virginia in race number three of the 1994 season. One more circuit around the 1.6 mile racetrack for Ernie Irvin. Martin just can't do it. Nope. Pushy picked up just a couple laps ago. It just. He's not going to accelerate off the corner like he wants to. Urban has the car for 34 turns now. Coming on to the straightaway, heading for the checkered flag for the second consecutive time in 1994. And going further into the lead in the point standings, Bernie Urban wins the Purolator 500, finishing second was Morgan Shepard. Darrell Walker comes to him. Jeff Gordon by just a car length and going for third. And in fifth position will be Mark Martin. The Robert Gates team has won again in 94. White flag for Dale Earnhardt. One to go. And the fans here on the main street, away at least, are on their feet waving their black GM Goodrich hats and saluting the champion of the Trans-South Financial 400 for 1994. His 60th career win in NASCAR Winston Cup competition still ranks sixth in all-time victories. Here is Dale Earnhardt taking the checkered flag and winning the Trans-South Financial 400. Earnhardt gets the white flag. He's got a half mile to go to the Another victory and moves into the points lead for 1994. Dale Earnhardt wins his 24th short track race in his career. There is the checkered flag and he's done it. Here comes Terry Labonte in the Kellogg's Cornflake Chevrolet on the fourth corner. And getting the white flag, there is one more lap to go for Terry Labonte from Corpus Christi, Texas, the 1984 NASCAR Winston Cup champion, who is about to record a victory here this afternoon. Here he is, through turns three and four, and Labonte wins the first Union 400. White flag, Chris Corbin and all the crew Standing by for the NFL draft. Lap, Rusty Wallace leads Ernie Irvin. And Rusty is about to pick up $98,800 of Unical bonus money by winning the Haynes 500 here this afternoon. If he can negotiate turns three and four and take the checkered flag, here he comes off the fourth corner. And Rusty Wallace wins the Haynes 500 by just four lengths over Ernie Irvin. Mark Martin finishes unofficially third, then Darrell Waldrop, Morgan Shepard, Todd Burdine, and Chuck down the seven cars on the lead lap. The white flag is coming out. One more lap to go around the 2.6 mile Talladega Super Speedway. It is Earnhardt, Michael Waldrop, and Ken Schrader running first, second, and third, and then Ernie Irvin. And behind Irvin, a tremendous battle for position involving several cars. Irvin sneaks up on Ken Schrader. Boy, he had him a run going, and Michael Walter tried to go by Earnhardt. Earnhardt made the track awfully wide, and he suspected he would do it. Here comes Ernie. Ernie to the inside. He's got second. Now sets his sights on Dale Earnhardt as the cars approach corner number four. They come into the trioval. Let's just listen and see who wins the Winston Select 500.
is on his last lap inside with Ricky. Up to third. In the meanwhile, here's another great race as Mark Martin is on the back number. Morgan Sherrod tried to get alongside. Jack of 11, Paul Cooper calling. Battle for seven. Morgan has seven. Mark eight. and a bit of money, but sixth place is the one that counts. There's second. On the outside, Schrader. Sacks in third. They will make the show. Then the Burton brothers are fourth and fifth, and now Nemechek is alone in sixth. I'm going to tell you, if I was Greg Sacks, I'd say, that's okay. I'm in the Winston if I can just hold her straight here, but I, he's not the type of driver to do that. Check Jeff Gordon wins it. And for second place, Sacks. <laughs> one of your former drivers. Oh, yeah. Jeff Burton, Ward Burton, there they go from fourth place. And Joe Nemechek will take the final spot. White flag. One lap to go. Hey, Bodine, they were going to convince anybody he wasn't standing back in just a little bit. That's a wrecked race car that they fixed, and he is going back here, and it looks like he may pull this job off. You see Sterling Marlin moving in here, going into the third area. And Hoosier Tires make it its first victory of the season. Sterling Marlin will battle Schrader for second. It's Bodine off the corner to win it. Jeff Bodine, the 86-500 winner, will win it at first second. Wow, I can't call it. I, I would have to say Sterling might have done that. Bobby Hill is 22. Yeah, I had to be in there soon. Oh, the first one. <laughs> They don't remember back that far. <laughs> okay. White flag, but one to go. Coming around the Daytona 500 winners for early miles. Looking up Jimmy Spencer just in front of him. Boy, this is a moment. Out of the Set on the pole at 181.439. He will become only the fifth driver in 35 years to win. The Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, North Carolina from the pole. Checkers are out, and they are down, and it is Jeff Gordon victorious this evening on this Memorial Weekend at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Not holding it. Not. You're in good company. Hey, they did. They did the right thing. I wouldn't have took a chance on it, but they did. Earnhardt, up to yeah. congratulate him. They shaking his fist here. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> As you watch from the helicopter, Rusty Wallace will take the white flag, looking for back-to-back -back win in the Budweiser 500. Ernie Irvin trying to draw close for Carling. You've done this before, bringing home. See, this is great, man. This is going to be an all-Wallace weekend. Mike won yesterday. Here comes Rusty off the turn four. He's going to win it. He's going to win the Bud 500. It's a big victory for the Wallace for this week. It was a... Uh, Shepard, Brett Bodine. Earnhardt is slow on the start. And you cannot pass to the left until the start finish line. Here they come. All those lead lap cars. Watch Schrader trying to get in. 
in it from the outside here. From Jeff Gordon to the inside. Rusty had to make a counter move to the inside. He's up beside Vern Hart. Bye. Jeff Gordon, black flag. You have three laps to acknowledge it. It's only one lap left. And it's Wallace to the front. They sweep around. Earnhardt, Wallace down to the inside. Final lap. Two corners from home. Earnhardt is right there. Rusty Wallace just answered the question. How deep can you drive a car into number one? That's as hard as you can make it. Kenny Schrader is up to fourth behind Jeff Gordon. Turn three. Final corner. These lap cars are going to play a factor. Let's see what happens. Big chunk of cars in front of the leader. Earnhardt looks low. Jeff Gordon looks lower, but it's all Rusty Wallace. Two in a row, big crash at turn three. Little surprise that on this final lap. And I believe it's Wally Dollaback. Oh. Has fought his way back into this one from dead last in the lead lap with 10 to go. Four, five car length advantage. White flag is out. One to go. The engine stalled as he came down out of fuel. Buddy Parrott threw his heart and soul into it. Got him back in the event. It looks like it's going to pay off. Mark Martin making another stab. Couldn't do it. Earnhardt just flat drove in there as hard as he has all day long. Kept the position. Give Martin the Medal of Honor for courage in this one. Checkers ready to fly. And the 36th career win for Rusty Wallace is scored on Father's Day 1994, his fifth of the season. And Earnhardt pulls to within 72 points of the Winston Cup leader, Ernie Irvin. What a race. It's one lap to see if he can get the job done. The white comes out. Ernie Irvin leads the last lap. Let's see if Jimmy Spencer can get the job done here on the final circuit of this event. He heads up high on the racetrack once again with a lot of momentum build up. Yep, he's making Ernie protect that low side of the racetrack. He's going to have some momentum when he comes off this turn, Bob. He's going to have enough to move up the side of him, I believe. And he makes a move to the inside at the halfway point down the back stretch, and he gets the lead, or at least he gets an advantage on Earnhardt. They touch coming down the back stretch. That's Ernie. Earnhardt. Earn, earn. Side by side, here they come for the checker flag. Who's going to be? Will it be Ernie Irvin on top or Jimmy Spencer on the low side? Off of corner number four. Here they come. It's going to be a drag race to the checkered flag. Jimmy Spencer wins it. Boom, baby. How about that? Jimmy Spencer becomes the third first time winner in 1994. He has come from a lap down today, and he may take the point lead today from Ernie Irvin. Ricky Rudd's car looks like his own string right now. White flag. I'll tell you what, them guys right now have got goosebumps all over. They're not believing this. And Ernie Irvin's car is being pushed back up pit road and out of the race. As Ricky Rudd winds off the corner, Ted Musgrave goes after Morgan Shepard, and Mark Martin runs for Todd Bodine. Uh, he's got him. He's up under him going into turn three over here. Fourth place is the battle. Mark Martin takes it. Todd Bodine may get his first top five finish here. For the 15th time in his career, Ricky Rudd will take the checkered flag and win the Slick 5300. Earnhardt is second. Wallace is third. Mark Martin is fourth. And Todd Bodine scores a career high fifth place finish. White flag is out as Labonte everything he's got in his fight with Michael Waltrip. Gets in between them now. Looks to me like Jeff Bodine's willing to stay right there. Get a little bit of a hitchhike. No, nope, looks inside, pulls back out at that tunnel turn. He, he's happy there now. He's real happy there, and so is Ward. Takes a shot in that short straightaway leading to turn three. Goes underneath Michael Walton. They can continue their war for half a lap for that 15th position. But it's Jeff Bodine who's going to write the story here today. 15th career win.
is half a straightaway away. Down this 3,700 footer he comes. And Jeff Bodine is going to win again. Another guy with his own team has pulled it off. The Exide Batteries car number seven has won the 500 at Pocono, Pennsylvania before a record crowd this afternoon. And Ward Burton, a rookie on the Winston Cup Tour, is going to come home second, one and two tenths of a second behind. White flag is out, one to go. Jimmy Spencer bears down. Bill Elliott comes after him. Here comes Schrader looking high. I don't think he has time enough now. It's between the Junior Johnson cars, Ned. Yeah, Ernie Irvin went a little high there, lost some distance between the two front runners. Now he's going to have to fend off against Schrader. Here comes Elliott, trying to move down on the inside. Now he goes to the outside as Fincher blocks him off there, goes high and blocks him off up there. <laughs> what they need is a third dancing partner. Elliott needs a little help to be able to get by, but he doesn't have any help. Elliott, everybody's pretty much on their own. He'll take one more shot for sure and just try over. Here he comes, up to the outside. Guns it for the inside. Here we come for the finish. Coming to the strike. It's Spencer. Jimmy Spencer has just won his second restricted play super speedway race. Defeating his teammate. Corner number four, Doyle Ford displays the white flag. Jeff Gordon has two and a half miles to go before he wins this event. It'll be his second NASCAR Winston Cup victory. He it brings the car through corner number one, okay, and onto the short shoot. There's Brent Bodine. It looks like Brent's getting a little bit closer, but does he have time? He is getting closer. with less than one half lap to go for Jeff Gordon. He eyes turn number three. Listen to the crowd as they acknowledge Jeff Gordon when he goes by. It's an unbelievable situation in Indianapolis. Here he is in the fourth turn. This is his final trip around turn number four. And Jeff Gordon is about to write his name in the racing history books. Years from today when 79 stock car races have been run here, we'll remember the name. Jeff Gordon, winner of the inaugural Brickyard 400. Man, oh man, oh man. Jeff is screaming on his radio back to the pit crew. Oh my God, I did it. I did it. thought we saw emotion from this kid in Charlotte. I think it'll be at least duplicated here in just a few moments. I'm about to cry. <laughs> it is an unbelievable story that has happened here at Indianapolis today. Jeff Gordon has won the Brickyard 400. Mark, you can do this one more time. We're going to pay you. Let's see what Ernie Irvin can do, if anything, on the last lap. Well, he comes in pretty deep on the break and tries to close some there, but it didn't make up much of a gain. He's not going to get enough of a run going on the straightaway to make much difference anyway. I think Mark would have to make a mistake at this point for him to make up the ground he needs. Will he begin a string of wins as he did here last year? you recall that he won this race from the pole position last year. I hate to use the word inherited, but he was in third when Kyle Petty and Dale Earnhardt had their collision. And Mark rather went on a winning streak of four in a row. Well, Ernie Irvin has picked up on him quite a bit. I, don't, I think Mark is perhaps just being conservative, but Ernie has gained on him quite a bit, but I don't think he's going to be able to, to do much with him. Looks like Mark put his hand out the window going down the back straight away and said, uh, just relaxing like a Sunday afternoon ride. Here he is. Here. This is turn 10. One more to go for Mark Martin. Now into turn number 11, and Mark Martin wins his 13th career victory and his first of 1994. Mark Martin wins the butt of the Glen. White flag is out. Doyle Ford shakes the white flag, and Jeff Bodine is on the last lap, and within two miles of victory, we'll watch this battle for second position as Rick Mast is right.
right behind now up on top of Mark Martin off of corner number two and down the back stretch. Mark holds on to the position. Jeff Bodine well in command. It will be no contest for the win. We will watch second position for you. Now they're in the north banking. Here is Jeff Bodine coming out of corner number four and is going to win the GM Goodrich 400. Jeff Bodine wins it to the line. Let's see who gets second. It is Mark Martin beating Rick Mass and then Rusty Wallace and Bobby Labonte and Kyle Petty are your top six finishers. One more to go. Let's see how Wallace and Martin end this thing off of the second corner. And Rusty Wallace goes to the inside of Ken Schrader. But Rusty Wallace is going to win it. Here's the checkered flag. Wallace wins. His sixth victory of 94. Let's see how this battle comes out. Marlon, Michael Waltrip, Todd Bodine, they finish in that order. Six, seven, and eight. White flag. And listen to this crowd. The eight-time most popular driver in NASCAR. Trying to hang on to get his first win. Earnhardt runs in second spot. Morgan Shepard third. Ricky Rudd fourth. And Sterling Marlin in fifth position. Coast around now, make it, Terry. Yeah, if it blows up now, he could probably coast to the start finish line. 45th annual Southern 500 comes to a close, and Bill Elliott takes the win as he waves to the crowd. Rusty Wallace trying to nurse it home. White flag is out around the track. And Wallace loses another spot going into the corner. Checkers about to fall. And the 12th career win is about to be recorded by Terry Lavani for Rick Hendricks. We'll be Gordon in second, and we'll see the three come across just in front, Earnhardt, just in front of Rusty Wallace in third and fourth. And as they come around, it's four night break in the wall. Oh, man. Hard with the right front. down the racetrack and everybody gets by and a great drive Boy, that's ends up clambered into the concrete and here's the new leader as they come to the caution with five laps to go but as long as he's going forward they can't pass him can you believe it? Can coast there. checkered flag 38 career win for <laughs> Rusty Wallace in the seventh this season. White flag in the air. You talk about that right rail on Jeff Gordon's car, Dan. Look, he's just in front of Rusty Wallace to be left. Yep. Back to the 11th spot. He's the last car on the lead lap. The final lap at Marginal Speedway. Rusty Wallace. Coming to turns three and four, and Wallace will pick up his fourth victory at Martinsville, his eighth in 1994. He takes the checkered flag and waves to the crowd his third win on the short tracks here this season. There's our leader who will come by for the white flag. This time out of turn four, Jeff Bodine trying to pick up his third victory in 1994 on a lap. In a lap to himself, the battle will be for second spot as Rick Mass now pulls to within two car lengths of Terry Labonte in the back straight. There for I, there on the right side of your screen is the battle for second position. tear them up. They're, this will be for the finish. Coming down, it will be white and yellow coming to the line. The winner is going to be Jarrett. Second is going to be Shepard. And coming home third this afternoon is going to be Earnhardt. And we've got another car crashing into the wall Bobby Hamilton. on the finish. Bobby Hamilton has ripped the Kendall Oil number 40 hard into the wall. Checkers are out. 
And the winner today is Dale Jarrett, under caution. A white flag. Well, oh boy. No matter who wins, I'm telling you, that's the drive of the year right there by Rick Master. We'll come back from such a wreck and then pull down on Dale Earnhardt like he's doing right now. Now, that's Earnhardt's play right there. He does that. Here comes Mast, right to the bumper, slides it sideways, and Earnhardt holds him off to win the race and knock down his seventh Winston Cup championship. David Pearson, he's got a little bit of you in him. He slowed up just to make that look exciting. I he guarantee you. He might have. But old David Pearson never would have done it. <laughs> I've been scared in basement. <laughs> he nearly did. Andy Petrie, winning crew chief. Make that champion crew chief. And Earnhardt gives the crowd a big wave. Rick Mast is second, Morgan Shepard is third, Ricky Rudd is fourth. Terry Labonte fifth, Mark Martin, Bill Elliott, Dick Trickle all on the, on the lead lap. One lap down in ninth, Wardburg and tenth, Lake Speed. Last lap for Terry Labonte. See here whether or not Shirley Marlin will finish on the lead lap. So you've got this for me, I can tell you who's going to be this. <laughs> oh. oh, way to go, Master Pearson. Fourth turn, Terry Labonte will pick up his 13th career victory. Six super speedway wins, five on the short tracks, and two on road courses. He sees the white flag, one lap to go. Mile and a half of racing for Mark Martin. About to record lap number two in 1994. On to the back stretch. Checks up the mirror to see who's behind him. Now into turn three. Into turn number four. Off the corner, looking for the checkered flag. Mark Martin wraps up the 1994 NASCAR Winston Cup season with a victory here at Atlanta. Mark Martin wins the Hooters 500. Dale Earnhardt finishes in second position. And the Valvoline Jack Roush Steve Meal crew goes wild. And Todd Bodine smokes badly as he crosses the finish line. He blows up as he crosses the start finish line. That's amazing. <laughs> well, it lasted long enough. <laughs> he had exactly a 500-mile motor. <laughs>